Okay, hey, welcome to Chaplain Chat. This is the Mission Conference, October 7th, I think it is. It's the so. wrap up, yeah. And we do this every, about every other year. Fellowship of Hope puts on this Mission Conference. Missionaries from all over the world. In fact, hey man, uh, my, my camera guy, kind of scan just real quick, just some of the display areas. And this is, uh, we're at the church right now, and you can just kind of scope around and scan some more. And that's good, and you can come on over here and scan this. Missionaries from all over the world, and the Fellowship of Hope brings them in, and they support, and here's some more scanning over here. Oh, and here's my table. woo -hoo! Good news, John, prison ministry. But we're going over here at Bob right now. But we've met before. Yeah. Bob is from the Philippines. Rob. Mich Rob. <laughs> Rob. Rob from the Philippines. <laughs> Rob from the Philippines. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Rob, tell me, what the heck do you do in the Philippines? Who are you, man? I'm Rob you're not Van Bob, you're Rob. I'm Rob. Yeah. Rob Van and Boss with Touch of Grace Ministries from the Philippines. We're 20 years uh, church planting, discipleship training. 20 years. 20 years coming January. And uh, like I say, church planting and, and discipleship training. We do a lot of different things in uh, preaching the gospel. Our uh, mission statement is to... Bring them from the dark into the light. Wow! And teach them to walk in the light for the rest of their life. You know, and so uh, we've had a great, uh, a great time doing what we do. Uh, we live in the typhoon capital of the Philippines, so we experience a lot of different uh, adverse weather effects. But uh, we stay steady. We stay firm. We're there. Rob, you know this is interesting because not Bob, but Rob. Yeah. Yeah. And your wife is name is uh, my wife is Chris. Chris. Yeah. And actually, we do. Facebooky stuff together. Yes. So hi, Chris. Uh, mm -hmm. Your husband did show up for this thing. Amen. Hey, <laughs> you actually, God is doing some things in your life right now, and I, I think I wanted to bring this up too because God's not done with us. We're a work in process. But um, Rob, what what's going on right now? When you're, it's a whole change of direction for you. Personally, for me, it's it's a real paradigm shift because we've been 20 years in 20 one years. island. And, uh, one we, island, in one island, years. and we planted a number of churches. But we've come to this uh, a place in time where we realize that I especially realize that I cannot finish what I began only in the sense that I'm pastoring Filipino churches. I'm older than most of the people in my church. You are. Don't, you are older. Hey, hey, I gotta hey, tell you. Yeah, I don't no, speak no. their language fluently. I'm not completely immersed in their culture. It's time. To, even though you've been there 20 years, even you're though realizing I'm, that. I realize it. It's time to turn the church over to men in their own locations. Wow. Men who we have raised up for the last 10, 12 years because they are the men who will take their community and their church to the next level. They will finish what we have begun. So God's done with you. You're not going to do anything. Oh, no, more. no. Are you ready to go home? Die no, go home. no, no. Home is, home is where God takes me. We're uh, <laughs> ready to. We're going to relocate our whole mission uh, base camp to another island, actually seven islands away from where we are. And, and that's quite a process. That's a process. About. It's going to take uh, more than 37 hours of travel time. And that's not counting how many hours you wait on different boat docks waiting for the next boat. Because we'll traverse across uh, six islands to get to the seventh island. And we're going to plant a whole new mission work in a new place. And there's a school that you're helping, or God's uh, leading you into something. We else. have a school planted. It's a, a elementary, pre-kinder, kinder school. And uh, we're in our first year. It grew uh, to seven, 200 children in the first year. We're going to leave that school intact, and we're going to take the founders of that school with us because they're part of our ministry wow. team and plant a new school in a new location. So even though God's shifting you, if people still want to be involved, and, I, and I'll grab, grab your card and stuff, but people can still find out more about you. Touch of Grace Ministry. It's still going to be Touch of Grace it's Ministry. Touch of Grace Ministry. Nothing changes. You can find us on Facebook. You can find I, us. Yep, they're on Facebook. They're on Facebook. Uh, my name, Rob Vandenboss. <laughs> not, not Bob, not Rob. Bob, but Rob Vandenboss <laughs> or Touch of Grace Ministries Philippines. Okay, and I, this is great. And when I when I put this down, I'll uh, put a little thing on yeah, it my, and how to get a hold of you. You better and, believe it. And real quick, if they want to call you toll free. Oh, you got a toll-free number. There's a toll-free number. Whoa, there. you're big st time stuff. What is that? The that toll number free is number. 510-315-0624. Do it again. Five one or five one zero three one five zero six two four. Okay, and I'm gonna put this down plus your website and all that stuff. Very good. Hey, we've done this before. We may do it again. 
Thanks, Chaplain John. Man, and I want to thank you. This is my big sign-off. I, I bet you forgot how to do this. I'm going to say I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for being on, and you're going to say Chaplain Chaplain. Not yet. Are you ready for this? All right. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I want to thank you for being on. Chaplain Chat. Chaplain Chat. All right. Woohoo! Now,